It's very rare right now that you can work in a field where you are basically writing the books and we have that opportunity here uh, with space architecture. There's so little done in the field of space architecture that we can really help define it. Sega is a small design studio that focuses on architecture and outer space and extreme environments. Our most ambitious project to date was uh, a project we finished last year, which was a simulated moon habitat that we tested for 100 days in the Arctic, where me and my co-founder, we lived inside the habitat on four and a half square meters, while outside there was minus 41 degrees Celsius and storms with hurricane winds. We were safe and comfortable inside our little moon habitat. I think when I was a kid, I was a daydreamer. I would often sit in class and dream about exploration, exploring outer space, exploring the deep seas in a submarine. Um, I was always fascinated about this kind of exploration. I think the chances of making projects for outer space and extreme environments and for the Arctic, the chances of that happening is so small and we worked so hard to make it happen that I think that uh, young Sebastian would be proud and that, that makes me happy. We have never designed a square object. There's a lot of square houses around the world. Uh, I guess most, most houses in the world are actually square. Um, but we, we have never made a square building. And that's not because we don't want to make a square building. That's because when we start a project, we don't know what it's going to look like in the end. Through the design process, we always think about the people using it and the climate around it. And then it just happens that it's very rarely the best way to make a square building. It's very often the cheapest to make a square building. Um, and if that's the motivation, then it really makes sense to make a square house. But for us, we want to make the best houses, the best designs. The things that we do are very often inspired by nature. And if you look at nature, there's almost nothing square. And I think the Capisco chair is a great example of that. When you look at this chair, like we, this would have been a chair that I would have been extremely proud of designing. This doesn't look like a chair you've ever seen before. This looks um, like something alien in a way. Um, it, like if you just see it at a glance, you may, might not even guess that it's a chair at the first time you look at it. But when you start to study it, it is designed exactly like we design our objects. So um, it, it follows all the functions that a human needs to sit comfortable um, but it also has the possibility of variation. So of course you have a supported arch in the back, but you also have a place to put your elbows. Um, so, and then you have the saddle that you're sitting on, which in a way is a very natural way of us sitting. It's almost sitting like a, on a saddle on a horse. Um, it's, um, it's, it's like the first time I saw this chair, I almost didn't believe that it was this comfortable and good to sit in. Um, but it follows the exact same design principles that we put in our own architecture. I love what I'm doing. The entire team here loves what we are doing. I hope that we can continue doing what we are doing until I can't stand anymore. I think what we are doing is so exciting and so important um, that I don't think about anything else. When I wake up, I'm excited to get into this office space and sit down with the team and work on the problems of the day. Um, and when I go home and eat dinner uh, late at night, I'm still thinking about what we are going to do tomorrow. And this has been going on for four years and I'm still as passionate, if not more passionate, about what we are doing now. And that makes me extremely happy. And that's probably the only reason why we can work as much as we do. Because doing what we are doing, it's not easy. It's really difficult. Like it is so difficult, but finally it seems like we've found a recipe of making it work. Um, and I find great joy in that.